Hey guys, Pepperami here, and this week we are going to be making a very simple but commonly used food. Butter. Now, as a byproduct of making this, you will also get buttermilk, and I will show you how to easily flavour the freshly made butter as a little bonus part of the video. Now all you are going to need for this is some good fresh cream and a good amount of elbow grease or an electric whisk or stand mixer. Now for the cause I am just simply putting mine in a jar and shaking for about 15 minutes. Now in this time you can sit on a log in the garden and think about all the metal bands that have been cancelled and called off this year. Try and play football with your dogs or even feed the fish in the garden pond and then replace the lid on the box of fish food that you broke just trying to record a clip for a cooking video now while shaking or mixing the cream is going to go through two changes first of all it will become a whipped cream at this point if you are doing it in a jar or by shaking it in any other way, it will become a bit harder to mix from here, but stick with it. And then eventually the final form will be butter and buttermilk. Now you can tell when this is going to happen because you'll start getting a lot of liquid in the jar or in the container, whatever you're doing this in. And the liquid that comes off will just be the buttermilk. Now you can do several things with the buttermilk. You can either throw it away drink it or bake it into some cookies, cupcakes, muffins, etc. You can use it for like marinades on meat. I'm possibly in the future going to be looking into doing other things with buttermilk. Now the butter will still hold on some of the buttermilk and you can squeeze this out by hand by just cupping the butter and just giving it a good squeeze or you can place it in a clean tea towel or cheesecloth and give it a good squeeze in that if you don't want to get butter all over your hands. Now the butter is going to be very very soft to start with and this is the perfect time to flavour your butter if you wish to do so. If you don't you can optionally just add a little bit of salt here and just get salted butter. Now I split mine into two lumps. One I left completely plain, didn't even add salt to or anything, because I like the taste of this butter on its own without anything else added into it. It's a lot more creamy than normal butter that you get from the shops. And for the other one, I made some garlic butter with some parsley. Now to do this, all you need to do is roughly chop some fresh parsley and crush and mince some garlic. Depending on how garlicky and herby you want it, this is completely up to you. I also chose to use some jarred garlic in a chilli oil just for a little bit of an extra flavour. And then simply fold the garlic and the parsley into the butter. Now you can use this straight away, you can spread it on some toast or you can spread it onto some freshly cut bread for some garlic bread. Or you can wrap it up in some cling film or put it in a tub and keep it in the fridge for later use. Now it really is that simple to make homemade butter. Breaking the lid to the fish food out in the garden is completely an optional step. That is entirely up to you. I wouldn't recommend it, personally. But you know, it's an optional step. But anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, consider showing some support with a like and a subscribe for more cooking content in the future. And if you have any other ideas of what you would like to see on this channel, let me know in the comments below. Now that can be something like specific to your local area, I can have a little look up. And if you want to see me try and copy a local cuisine thing, or if it's just something simple like croissants or something like that, which I am hopefully going to do in a future video also. But anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.